okay so for this effect we're gonna be first of all I want you to clear out this, this styling on that on our advanced text you're just gonna stick out the styling go into your advanced text you're gonna see a menu available here Cl click on clearly layer style this removes all the styling we initially applied and make it look this look this way you're gonna change the color to white by selecting your text tool ensure your advanced text layer is selected select your text tool and then just change the color to white or something grayish it doesn't really matter just change it to something to a color that will bright a little bit so you can easily work with now select your move tool and um with your move to selected we're just gonna uh, lift this layer up a little bit we're gonna lift this layer up somewhere here okay so now that we have that what i want to do is to come into your advanced layer we're gonna apply some blending options to it some layer options to it layer blending options to it sorry then uh, we're gonna apply a bevel and emboss effect just something a little bit small take this down to one pixel click on ok then we're gonna duplicate this layer a couple number of time to give us that um, 3d effect we're going for okay now what i want you to do is this you're gonna hold down the alt key you're gonna hold down your alt key while still holding down the alt key you're gonna press your arrow key down you're gonna tap it once the arrow key down you're gonna tap it just once tap it once see that now you're gonna release the alt key and press sideways your arrow key left to move the new newly created layer left by one by one 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 step you're gonna move it just move this sideways by one step you're gonna repeat the same procedure alt key down press your arrow key down to duplicate the layer downwards release your alt key and press your arrow key left don't don't mix it up don't hold down your alt key while still pressing while while pressing your your left your left arrow key you have to release your alt key before you press the left arrow key and i'm gonna do it again and do it again just repeat the same procedure sorry control z control z to undo my last move i'm just gonna move this sideways um alt down sideways i think that should be enough now you're gonna also select your from your advanced copy layer one select it scroll down your layers to our first advanced layer hold down your shift key and click on it this selects all the layer in between in between layer five and then layer one now you're gonna press ctrl e ctrl and e to merge layers or you simply or you simply left click on it and click on um merge layers don't worry just just press ctrl e to merge all these layers together now we, we have one 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 sole layer responsible for our 3d effect now this is not very visible because our front layer is also white so we're going to change the styling the color overlay styling on our front layer color overlay now you see this we're going to also, also going to remove our bevel and emboss effect um let's change this to something yellowish okay okay now notice we now have a 3d effect this is 3d effect around it we're also going to style that up select the layer that, is, that corresponds to our 3, 3d effect go into blending options and um apply color overlay on it okay saying this you could the, the use of this is limitless you could do so many things with this you could achieve so many effects with this but i'm actually going for a yellowish 3d effects so i'm just gonna make it a bit darker than our normal layer we're gonna click OK, then come back into your the front layer, blending options. We're gonna apply an inner 
sorry an inner glow sorry an inner glow to it leave it at default sorry let me just take it down a little bit something like this okay you see we already have a 3d view we already have a 3d view to our advanced text you could do the same thing for every other layer every other text layer you have there you could even use it for text for ships for normal ships you want a 3d box you could do this you could just um change the color this is just an example that if you're actually going for not for you want to apply a 3d effect to a box and not to a text layer same same procedure use your alt key duplicate So the layer is selected, use your Alt key, duplicate side, duplicate, sorry, ensure your move tool is selected, Alt key down, down, left, down, left, down, left, down, left, down, left, down, and left. So you see? Now, if you change the color of this to something different, you notice we already have a 3D effect to our box. That's one way of adding 3D. Though there are a couple number of other also generated 3D effects you could actually get here in Photoshop, but I'm not going to be diving into that because that's going to that could be a full time tutorial on its own. But for this, you, with this alone, you can achieve so many effects, and I'm going to and I'm going to be showing you now how you're going to style our front layer to give it that unique feel. Now this is the layer that corresponds to our front layer. We're just going to double click this we're just going to apply a gradient overlay on it we'll take away our color overlay color overlay let's just set this to overlay for our gradient we're gonna still use the yellowish or something we'll just um something like this we're gonna go for something uh a bright yellow bright hue of yellow the difference is color in color is not that much so we're just gonna take this yellow the tone of this yellow down a bit notice the difference we have notice the difference see there you have it we now have a all unique a very unique view to our text layer now we're gonna apply a little bit of reflection to it. To do this, what I want you to do is to hold down your control key and click inside this text layer. When you hold down the control key, notice the small triangle rectangle, the small square that is close to the, our, our icon, our cursor. Now that is when it's inside this box here, this particular box. Now you're just gonna you're just gonna click on it once. This selects this creates a selection of the particular layer. You're gonna apply a new layer over it, create a new layer over it, and um, you're gonna fill it with the background color of white. I filled it using holding down the control and the lit key together. That fills down with fills the selection with the background color in a new layer. Now you're just gonna unselect that with Ctrl D. Come over here, pick your elliptical make you two right here. And um, just draw and a kind of oval make you extend it down so that extend it down so that the 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 curvature of the elliptical make you to start from somewhere here, from somewhere here and just goes up. Now we're gonna delete this layer. We're gonna delete the selection from this. Uh, you're gonna deselect that by pressing Ctrl D, those are all shortcut keys, or you come to edit menu and click on um, your select menu, sorry, and click on deselect from here. Okay. Now you're gonna reduce the or the opacity from the of the of our of our glow. Reduce it down a little bit so the background layer is still visible. Okay, there you have it. We now have a finished glossy 3D effect successfully achieve a glossy 3D effect to our advanced layer. Um, that's 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 one effect. 
Now, we can't leave it like this because it's they are all yellow. So I'm just going to change some styling in our mini site to something different. Let's see. Let's see what we have here. I want to remove this uh, Babylon and pause effect. Gradient overlay. Uh, cancel. Color overlay. Change the color overlay to something reddish. Okay. Okay. Same thing goes for this. We're going to change that yellow. Color overlay for color overlay to red. Ensure you have the same hue of red. Or better still, select this and select the red from what we already have. So you don't have too, too much, too varied um, shades of the same color. Um, something like this. Okay. Let's just turn it up a little bit. Okay. Click on OK. Come back right here. We're going to change that um, U to something to the same U as we have here. Click on OK. We don't need the gradient overlay anymore, so we're just going to uncheck it. And then, um, OK. There you have it. You have one that shade of, on that different blend of, of um, textiling. So I'm um, also going to show you what you can do to our advanced layer just to give it a more professional feel. Select the layer that corresponds with our underground layer or our foreground layer for advanced text, which is our advanced copy. Double click on it, on the FX button. Change our, we're going to apply a pattern overlay to it. Set it to overlay. Mm, no, sorry. Cancel this. Convert this layer to a smart object. Convert that to our, our front layer. This one that corresponds to our front layer to a smart object. Then um, blending options. We're going to apply a pattern to it. Pattern overlay. Change it to overlay. See that? We now have a 3D. We now have a, a more textured feel to it. You could do so many things with it. You could load in your pixels. It's different effects, different feel. So many different patterns you could use. These are all my my own custom patterns I used that I have loaded on my system already. So uh, there are a couple number of them included in the resource folder. So you could also load them in and have your own from here. Or you could just stick to Photoshop defaults. There are a lot of defaults right here. Select any of these and you have so many different fat patterns that come with them Photoshop. Mm, I'm just gonna go with something a bit professional. Something well shade. Just playing around with the old the options I have and see which one comes out the best. Okay. There you have it. I'm going to click OK. I like this. Okay. And um, that's that for the 3D effect. You could do so many things with it. You could play around with it. Come up with um, different feel for the pattern we just applied. Same thing, goes, same thing goes for the gradients. So many things you could do. Now, that's that for that textile.